Hello everyone, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we made it here to the final dungeon. And it's a beautiful dungeon. It is Hyrule Castle. Uh, I chose to, uh, to go back to... Hold on, let me open up the map. So currently, we're right here. Hold on. There we go. We've already explored that entire area. Got the master key, which was right there. We still need to go uh, over here. Yeah. Uh, get that chest, but I need to go through this path over here before we keep going up. So let's get into it. First off, in this room, it's kind of dark. It's kind of dark and scary. Let's brighten that up. What's the worst that can happen? That's what could happen if you brighten up a room. Batman doesn't like it. Or, there's an alternative path. Maybe that sign would tell me something. Yeah, I could probably knock that down. Can I knock it down on my grapples? Nope. Gotta do that. Alright, this says uh, start with the right, down, left. No. Top left. Bottom, de uh, bottom right. Top right. Bottom left. So it's that one. That one. That one. That one. And there we go. <laughs> Give me heart. Give me the hearts. Eh. Wait. Um. Yeah, I'll take the. I'll take that. You never know when you need it. All right, what's on the other side of this? Oh, these dudes are easy. They're easy. I mean, they block a lot, but, you know. They're nothing too challenging. Especially if I do this and maybe that. And they're dead. That was fun. Now we can go grab that chest, or... I think this opens up a shortcut. If I remember correctly, it's been so long. Yep. And now we have a shortcut. Alright, there's nothing else but grabbing that chest right there, but that's even if it's in the area. I mean, if it's not, that's fine. It's not even important. What's important is the bonus room in this chat, uh, in this dungeon. Or the item room. Yeah, it's below us, so let's not worry about it. Let's go even higher. Because the real fight begins now. Now, if one of those chests has a key, I might have to go back for it. And I'll have to, like, freaking jump cut for it. All right. So I remember this a hundred percent. Hold on. Do not step on a path that is not facing in the direction of one of these zombie uh, ghosts. You will. You will one hundred percent die. You just want to follow the path of the ghost. There we go. Uh, 
Alright, we're gonna need the claws and the spinner, starting with the claws. I mean, at this point, I should be able to make all the jumps. Round one. Let's go, boys! Good effort, but not good enough. Alright, now, I need the claw. Gotta do this right. And done. Round two. Fight! Good effort. Now the fun part. Nah. Come on. And that's how you cheese it. But right there is the, the bonus room, and the boss room's right there. So we're gonna need that extra key. But first, we need to defeat the last Dark Nut. The champion Dark Nut. And he looks amazing. Woo! Helm Splitter! He fights exactly like the rest, but he's a little bit smarter. Oh. Yo, what's up? Kevin, what's up? Oh, you want to go? That's what you want? And we're done. Now, if you get a final key, you can open up this room. That's the bonus room. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, there's a few chests right there, chests right there. And a chest right there. Let's go back for it. I'm gonna jump cut, gentlemen, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so, uh, I will see you guys here in a bit for the final boss fight. Two hours later. Okay, and I'm back. That took a bit, but as you can see, I now have a key. And now we can open up this final door. This is the item room, where it has a crap ton of chest. It gives you rupees and items. So if you want to rock the, um, if you want to walk, rock the one armor, this place is perfect for you. Because you can, uh, gather up as many rupees as possible. See? So many rupees. And bombs, we're gonna need them. And more rupees. I need some arrows. One of y'all got arrows? Hey, look at that. First try. What's in the next one? One green rupee. More bombs. More arrows. More bombs. Next up. A, a 20. A 10. And finally. A 5. What else is in here? Break all the pots and bear and boxes. Well, we don't need that since we have two revives. Q. 
Okay, I think that's it. Alright. It's now officially time to go take on the boss. Gotta break all these barrels. Alright. It's been a long time since I've done this boss fight, but I still remember everything I have to deal with. It is a four-part boss battle. Let's rock. The storms are brewing. It's getting bad out here. Let's rock! And I already said that, but, you know, again, let's rock, you know? It's time to take on the final boss. That don't look good. It's Zelda. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Ganondorf. Yep, the one and only. I've been dying to meet you. I wouldn't use your abilities against them. Your people have long amused me, Midna. To defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. That's not very nice. Pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Ha! Such conceit. But if you are one of the chosen wielders of power, as you claim, I will risk everything to deny you. Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Round one. Very well. Deny me, then. Yes, try to deny me. You and your little friend. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. It scared her. <laughs> Behold, the puppet of this of this timeline. Both of you faithless fools who would dare take up arms against the king of light and shadow. <laughs> so you choose, and so you shall feel my wrath. God, it's been so long since I've done this fight. Alright. It's Shadow Ganon all over again. 
Just gotta stay out of the light and then deflect the light balls back. And then uh, he does this one ability where he'll charge forward. There we go. Yeah! It's tennis all over again. Gotta focus, gotta keep focusing. There we go. What's up? What's up? Come on. I ain't afraid of you. I've beaten you multiple times now. Well, technically, I've only beaten him once. With the amount of uh, times I've seen Ganondorf. This is, uh, this is Ganondorf 2. Come on. I remember your patterns. It may have been a few years, but I still remember your patterns. Come on. Yeah, one more, one more. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, come on, throw everything you got at me. I said throw everything at me, not summon light. Come on. Come on! I'm ready for you. You're waiting. You're waiting for me to slip up, aren't you? Well, joke's on you. Come on. You know you want to throw a light ball at me and play tennis. There we go. And round one complete. <laughs> and now Midna gets to use her power. <laughs> But it's not over yet. That was only round one. And now the real game begins. Behold, Beast Ganon. Now, you could fight him as, as a human. All you need is a bow. But I prefer doing it this way. Bring it. I ain't afraid of you, you overgrown pig. Yeah! Let me nibble on that. Delicious. Mmm, I love ham. Alright, do your teleport thing. Looking for it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Once it turns blue, that's whenever you gotta get ready to, to toss him. Come on, big guy. Mmm, delicious ham. Mmm, delicious. Now, he doesn't just teleport. He can also appear in, uh, t on top of us. Just like that. Mm. 
Bring it. Nope. Denied. Yeah. Mmm, delicious ham. All right. Come on. You know you want to go another round. Come on. Mmm, I can't wait to enjoy some delicious ham. Delicious. Yes. Mmm. The most exquisite ham. Alright, now he can teleport faster. Come on. There we go. Come at me, big guy. Yeah. I can't wait to eat some ham. I'm I'm hungry. Yeah. Delicious. Okay, I think this is the last one. Let's go, big man. Yeah. Denied. Yep. Mm mm mm. Delicious. Defeated. But that was only round two. And there's still two rounds to go. The light. It's returning to Zelda. P Princess? I... I... Say nothing, Midna. Your heart and mine were as one however briefly such suffering you have endured Yehua <laughs> Man, it's all trippy in this place and I love it She's sacrificing herself so we can defeat Ganon. God versus God, hell yeah. But she's got a spear, he's just a head. field. <laughs> and there goes the castle. And he survived and somehow teleported over here with the speed of God. He has a trophy. He defeated Midna. 
So now it's our turn to defeat him. And he's got an army of ghosts. I'm scared of ghosts, they're spooky. Spirits of the light, wielders of the great power that shine far and wide about, upon the land of our world. In my honor, in my hour of need, grant me the light to banish evil. I just say it fast because, uh, you know, time was slowed down. And with the power of all the spirits combined, we get the ultimate weapon other than the Master Sword. Light arrows. The only elemental uh, arrow in this game. Shade. Chosen hero. Lend us the last of your power. I have unlimited power. You want to shake hands? No, she wants to hold my hand. I wanted to shake her hand. Let's rock. For the 30th time. I'll try to slow Ganondorf with my light arrows. You target him and keep him within range of my arrows. This is the hard part. Hold on. Oh no, he's right behind me. There we go. Where you going, buddy? Oh, he finally hit me. That's one hit. One partial uh, point for him, two points for me. And... Yeah, what's up, man? Come on. Oh, you're running away? Uh oh, that's not gonna be good. Damn. It's the only hard part is whenever he summons the ghost. At least he's kind enough to literally just chill. He just chills waiting. He's like, all right, I'm gonna wait for you. Ha <laughs> ha! You'll never take me alive. Got a few more hits. Damn. If you're fast enough, you can actually go right past that go uh, the ghost. I'm back for more. You'll never take me alive. You fool. You can't get me. No, 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 no. Head for it. Head for it. And come on, go for it. Ah, oh, he dodged at the last second. There we go. Round three complete. It's time for the final round. He's not done yet. Take this foul blade and use it to blot out the light forever. Final round. A duel to the death. Just the way I'd like it. Dark Lord Ganondorf, the final boss. Come on, man. I know how to beat you easily. Let's do this. Hyah!
Oh, you think you're easy? You think you're hard? You think you're a hard fight? No, you're a weakling. I'm better than you. Come on. You can literally beat him within a few seconds. This fight is nothing, man. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Come on. Hiya! I literally played with you, man. Oh, actually, you know what? Just to let y'all guys know. Look, watch this, watch this, right? He's distracted. He's distracted by the, by the fishing rod. Look! Look! A magical fishing rod! Whee! Come on. You know you want to fight. Come on. Come on, you know you want to chance it. Come on. Come on. You know you want to chance it. Don't make me get the fishing rod out. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, he finally got a hit on me. Good for him. Look at that, two hits. Can you go for three? Nope. I'm stronger than you. One more. One more and I win. How you wanna do this? How you wanna do this? How you wanna do this? Come on. We up. Oh, he wants to die. And I am victorious. Bye bye. Do not think this ends here. The history of light and shadow will be written in blood. And his power is gone. And now he's slowly fading into the dark into darkness. And I'm gonna let the archangels take him. That's the Archangel. And he's gone. I'm just saying, it's kind of badass for someone to die standing up. Can I have my sword back? Hark! A light in the distance? It's Midna! She's alive! Yeah, it's gone. Midna, my friend! You're alive! But something seems different. She's better looking. Hell yeah. <laughs> so 
She's returned to her original form. What? Say something. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? I mean, the main character never speaks words. People just know what he means. And we did it. But this isn't the end of this uh, of, of this series yet for Twilight Princess. I still got one more thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it in a bonus episode. This is still going to be called the finale. But I'm going to do one more episode as a bonus of one little thing I wanted to, I wanted to do. T technically, I'll do two things. I'll do the grapple, sh uh, uh, the claw shot minigame. And then uh, one other thing that literally had nothing to do with anything. But it was something I used to love doing. And I'm going to spend it, uh, spend a bonus episode on that just so I have something for Thursday. Um, because at this moment, it's, this is only the Tuesday episode and I need more, uh, for, uh, a Thursday. Because I don't know what I want to record next. Because I am going to take a quick break from, uh, Legend of Zelda for at least one game. Uh, because then I'm going to go into the... I think adult timeline? Yeah. I'm going to go into the adult timeline and start with uh, Wind Waker. I don't know how I'm going to get the DS ones working perfectly because the emulators for the DS is very... Eh. I'll figure out. I'll figure that out in the future. But the Wind Waker, at least, I know 100% will work. Because every now and then I like to play it on the uh, emulator. But for now, I'm going to take a break from Legend of Zelda and finish Final Fantasy V and then go directly into Final Fantasy VI mixed with that game of whatever I choose. Um, and then after I finish that game, then I'll, yeah, then I'll definitely go back to schedule. But I do have a bunch of other things I do want to play, and I need to start bringing back some games, including uh, Bot and Kaitos. I need to finish Evil West. Um, I, I need to write this stuff down, so I'll probably do that after... Uh, after my uh, recording session. Um, let's see. That's all I can think of at this current moment for schedule. But I guess I could just say thank you everyone for joining me on this uh, adventure. Uh, it's been very fun playing this game. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm a huge fan of the, of the Souls series. And that's why, uh, that's why I'm probably going to play them soon. But... The reason I say that is because, uh, if I remember correctly, they were inspired by the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, so I like these type of games, that they're the, the, the like a nice little RPG. Uh, but the Legend of Zelda series is always going to be one of my favorite series of all time. Um, I know a lot of people go into like uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild being the best. But in my opinion, uh, the best for me will always be a fight between Majora's Mask and Oracle of Ages, because those are my two most played games, and uh, Majora's Mask being very important to me, uh, as it was the, one of the last games my dad played before he passed away. Uh, and the other one being, it was the first Game Boy uh, Legends Zelda game I ever played that I enjoyed the hell out of, which I, w I will eventually play that. I will eventually play that. I just get a, uh, I gotta get um, the... I gotta get the timeline written down so I know which ones I've beaten and which ones I still gotta do and the ones I'll be able to play. Because technically, on the Dolphin Emulator, I got Skyward Sword to work, but it's very clunky, so I'm just gonna wait till I can record off the Switch. Uh, I just need a capture card for that. Um, and, and then get Skyward Sword. Because I do want to eventually play Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom on here. Um, but I want to play through all the other Zelda games. I'm going to try to figure out how to do the um, the Four Swords one, which is part of this timeline that I'm currently on. But at this current moment, I don't want to mess with it. So I'm going to... Um, what I plan on doing for that is just coming back to it after I finish like, the main, main ones. Because uh, the Four Swords one after this is technically a multiplayer game. But... 
it's not truly necessary. I mean, it is, and it isn't at the same time. Like, you don't, you can completely skip that if you want. But I am gonna go through them all eventually. I'm gonna figure out how to play it, because I won't be able to play with people. Because uh, I haven't figured out how to be able to play on multiplayer with that. Technically, there's that program, um, it's called Parsec, where I can uh, have people connect to my computer, but I don't know how uh, I'd be able to go even further from there. Because, uh, like, I tried connecting through, like, controllers, but apparently you, have, you connect the other three characters through Game Boy. So what I'll probably do is see if there's any, like, workaround for that, and then I could probably get three other people to join me on that for, for that series. Because I, I know it's not that long of a game. And then, uh, original Four Swords, I could probably do that one solo, though. But we'll find out. Uh, anyway, I'm rambling. Um, there's still one more cutscene after this, that's why I'm, uh, I'm not just skipping all this, uh, this, this, uh, the, these credits. I already know it's gonna get copyright <laughs> just because of the music, but luckily there's no penalty, so I'm just gonna let it roll. I, I don't care. I don't make money on here. This is all just for uh, a hobby anyway. It's just for fun. I mean, if I did end up making uh, money off of YouTube for my work, I would still not care. <laughs> it, it's literally just for fun. And in the end, that's all it should matter. Because, like, my main goal when it comes to a job is to, you know, start my game design career, which I'm just lazy. And I need to get around to taking at least one to two hours a day, do anything, you know, like level design, learn something on coding. I need to take that time, but uh, ADHD is a bitch. Anyway, this is the, uh, the last cutscene. So after this, I'm going to end it. So thank you, everyone, and I will talk to you all on uh, uh, tomorrow. So yeah, see you tomorrow. Monster, we'd better help you. Well, I guess this is farewell, huh? Triple, triple, Light and shadow triple. can't mix, as we all know. Triple, but triple, never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I know now the reason the goddesses left the Mirror of Twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, your words are kind and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, then maybe you'll do all right. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror is around, we could meet again. Shade. I... See you later. Now, for me, I know there's a manga out there that, uh, that, that ending is a little bit different than the manga. I don't even care if the manga's not canon. That's my canon in my book, after playing this game so much.
Okay, now this is the actual, like, full-on credits. So this is where I'm going to actually uh, end it. So again, thank you everyone so much for watching. Um, I guess I could still say in the next episode, the bonus episode, I'm going to do some mini games to have some fun, just relax, and then that'll be the end of Twilight Princess, and, we, and next week we'll be moving on to another game. So look forward to that. But until then, guys, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.